this is how the restoration project is going to go. I got here a few of my Air Zoom Generation 1s just so I can compare the quality of the reflectors. This is how the damaged pair looks like. So you can see that the reflectors are still there. Well, the residue at least. But also, you get the reds or the base color at the bottom when you strip out the reflectors. Here's the portion where I painted the, the damaged reflectors with, with chrome paint. So it doesn't look nice now. I'm going to restore this using chrome stickers I found online. So what we want to do is confirm the type of reflector that would fit or w that would match the color of the f reflector for Air Zoom Generation 1s. So it's not chrome. I was mistaken to think that it was chrome. The reflectors are more like dark black reflectors. I'll have to confirm with this one since it's covered with a blue sticker. And this one, it seems like it's bluish, bluish to black. So there's one possibility, bluish to black. And then for this one, this one is it's red. Okay, I'm not really sure if it's it was originally red. It's probably not. I may have to restore this also. Original problem. This one. Where you see that the brush strokes have lumped. So they're they're not as smooth as as the originals. And in my mind it's the best way to to fix this is to have chrome stickers put on top of these panels instead of putting putting paint on top of them. For the chrome stickers, we got four distinct colors or tones. First up is this one. Air release. Chrome air steel gray. It's a bit darker than the usual chrome. Then I have this one, black chrome, which may be the appropriate color. It says chrome mirror silver. So this is silverish. And this is different from, from this one. This is chrome. This is just basically mirror chrome. So just a quick mention, I compared these three and I found out that for this one, the chrome is still there. It just seems bluish because of the, the sticker. But if you look closely, it's still blackish chrome, just like the, this one. And also for this one, the weirdest thing is, well, I still think that it's, it doesn't have the reflectors on. I mean, if I pull this out, you'll mostly see red, right? But the strange thing is, if I turned off the light for my camera, it's gonna show chrome. So I'm not really sure. It's probably from the wear and tear and deterioration through the years. But if it is deterioration, there there's still some semblance of uh, chrome paint or chrome material over the reflectors. It's it's just that the, the red part, the, the base paint, is more pronounced for, for this pair. Let me try to show you. So I turned off the, the light of the camera. This has no light now. Peeling off the, the sticker. You won't notice that, it, that it's red. It does seem like there's chroma on these panels you're gonna end up with this color or you're gonna see this color and the color black 
That's the conclusion I get. That this is the best color for for the restoration of this one. Seems like a match. Not so much. This is... I'm not really sure if it's the reflection that's causing the gloss. The lighter gloss on, on the shoe. But I'm pretty sure it's black. And this is... This is silver. So that shouldn't be. Oh. Yeah, it's just a reflection. Okay, so right now I'm gonna stencil the reflectors and hopefully get the shape in the correct dimensions for for the reflectors. Obviously, as you saw, the reflectors don't really have an exact shape, so they're regular, and it's gonna be hard for me to put the right shape of the sticker if they're irregular. In order for us to get the right shape, this is where stenciling comes in. And I got the thinnest type of paper, which is the recommended type of paper. I mean, if it's thick, you're not going to see the reflectors. This is already thin, and it's still hard to see. But at least I get the silhouette of the, of the reflectors. Next level would, would probably be the thin Japanese papers. The ones you see used for sliding doors and for this instance I taped it I taped a piece of paper around the ankle and around the heel just so we can get the, the rounded shape and I'm pretty sure after stenciling it's gonna be irregular when you spread out the piece of paper and also it's important for you not to tape the top and the bottom because that will cause the paper to lose shape and deform and it's it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a problem if you spread that out after stenciling so we keep it as clean as possible and stretch out the, the paper just so everything is spread out with no crumples or crinkles there we go. So after stenciling, we now have the general shape and dimensions of the panels where the chrome stickers are going to stick on. We got five panels. That's right. Spread out. This is how the heel reflectors look like. And what we're going to do is get get the reflector or the chrome the chrome stickers and match the shape after stenciling I stuck the paper onto a folder so I can get the firmness of the folder and I can reuse it in case I make mistakes so this is one panel the biggest one of them all can see this is the piece of paper and if I flip it over this is the cardboard and it's firmer now and it's reusable so not only can I use this on one shoe or one side of the shoe I use the, the left side by the way this is from the left side so this is from the left side I can also flip this over, this one, I can flip it over and use it to get the shape of uh, the right shoe. This is flipped over. This is the back side. And there you go.
And after I get all five panels ready, I'm going to use these patterns to cut out the chrome paper or the chrome stickers. Now for these four, these are probably going to be the hardest, especially the smallest one. These are the five pieces. I'll be using their patterns for the chrome stickers. Alright, using the shapes, I drew them on the chrome paper. So we got our first cut out, this one, and this is for the right shoe. For the back panel, it seems it's smooth enough so I don't have to sand anything or remove the paint, the chrome paint. So all I have to do is put it on. Okay, what is that? Okay, that's a book. After multiple attempts of detaching and reattaching the chrome sticker, we now have one restored chrome panel for the Air Zoom Generation 1. It's not a perfect restoration. As you can see, um, I overshot the, the main panel and my sticker is pretty wide. But that can be fixed by using a, a cutter, a box cutter, or a blade so you can get the edges out and get the form back. But, but from afar, this is pretty good. And now we have four more panels to restore. And this is how it looks like now. What you're looking at is a restored one to the left with all the reflectors. And this is the damaged one, which eventually will be restored with the reflectors as well. After a few snipping adjustments, we now have all panels covered with a chrome sticker and obviously the it's not going to be as good as the originals but just the same considering the age of this pair and also you know the the labor of love you put into restoring the panels the chrome panels it's not going to be something you'd be ashamed of or embarrassed of wearing and I think in my mind, considering the cost, you can do it over and over again if you want to. I mean, for, for me, I barely used, here's, I barely used three inches of it. You're not good with how you, you snip the, the panels, the chrome sticker panels. You can do it over and over again. And it's not going to be a problem. The cost is very cheap. As for the the excesses, they're not going to be so obvious unless someone comes up close to the heel tabs, the, the heel panels, so they can see. They're just as good if you look from way far or uh, from up top if you're standing and looking at the shoes. See, this is, this is a general distance or a basic distance. And that's assuming the, the shoes are in line sight of your eyesight. Of course, I am a bit uh, obsessive compulsive. So I noticed that I cut, I cut the chrome a bit fat. So this is not going to be a problem. All you need is a, a box cutter just so you can slice off the excesses and you're good to go. You're gonna end up with a pretty good pair again. I made a mistake slicing off a portion of it and I'm gonna have to start over again for this panel at least. So 
So for starting over, all you need to do is take out the, the ruin sticker and put it on the scroll, the, the original chrome sticker roll, and you can cut again and probably make your adjustments if you want to. And this is the new cutout. This is the ruined one and this is the replacement. stick it back on. After cleaning up we now have the fully restored Air Zoom Generation 1 with the chrome panels. So for any of you guys who are looking for the, the exact color I used I'll put the link below so you can find and do your own project. This was an extremely satisfying labor of love and I'm looking forward to wearing this pair soon at the gym. Thanks for watching.